CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 166 through 170. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 166. A user with a Windows laptop reports that their application has stopped responding. Which task manager tab should they use to resolve the issue? The answer is A. Processes. To troubleshoot and potentially end an unresponsive application, the user should navigate to the Processes tab inside Task Manager. This tab allows users to identify and terminate the application causing the problem. The user can locate the unresponsive application in the list of running processes, select it, and then click the End Task button at the bottom right of the Task Manager window. This action forcibly closes the application, freeing up system resources and allowing the user to restart the application if necessary. Question 167. A large enterprise has implemented a new spam filter to reduce the number of spam emails received by employees. Despite this, some spam messages still get through, and there is a concern that employees might click on malicious links or attachments, potentially compromising the organization's network. Which of the following is the most effective method for mitigating this issue? The answer is B. Providing user education regarding phishing threats. Ensuring that employees are well educated on identifying and handling spam emails significantly reduces the risk of network infections. By understanding common threats and being vigilant about suspicious messages, users can avoid falling for phishing scams and other email based attacks. This proactive approach enhances overall security and complements technological defenses, making it the most effective solution. Question 168. A system administrator is tasked with automating a series of administrative tasks on a Windows server. The tasks need to be scripted using PowerShell to ensure compatibility and ease of execution within the Windows environment. The administrator needs to save the script with the appropriate file extension. Which file extension should the administrator use? The answer is C. .ps1. The .ps1 file extension for PowerShell scripts is unique and necessary for the script to be recognized and executed correctly within the PowerShell environment. PowerShell, developed by Microsoft, requires scripts to be saved with this .ps1 extension to differentiate them from other types of scripts and files, ensuring they are processed appropriately by the PowerShell interpreter. Question 169. A company needs to securely dispose of SSDs that contain highly sensitive customer information. Which of the following is an appropriate method for securely disposing of SSDs containing sensitive data? The answer is D. Shredding. Shredding involves physically breaking down the SSD into small, unrecoverable pieces, ensuring that the data cannot be retrieved by any means. Though not listed here, incineration would be another possible option. This involves burning the SSD, completely destroying it and its data. Both methods provide a high level of security for disposing of sensitive information. Question 170. A technician is setting up security protocols on a Windows 10 workstation to enhance system security. Which configuration should be adjusted to restrict the number of unsuccessful login attempts? The answer is A. Account Lockout Policy. Account Lockout Policy is a security feature that helps prevent unauthorized access by disabling user accounts after a specified number of failed login attempts. This configuration is crucial in protecting sensitive data and maintaining system integrity. By setting an account lockout policy, the system can counter brute force attacks, ensuring that repeated password guessing cannot be used in an attempt to gain entry into the system. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.